it's Jesse here. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to do a little bit of a talk through how my gallbladder surgery went. So as soon as I found out that I was going to be having my gallbladder removed, the first thing that I did was go on YouTube and look for surgery stories. I wanted to hear people's experiences. I wanted to kind of know what to expect. And so I thought that I might share my story so that someone else might find the information they're looking for as well. So I had been having quite a bit of pain underneath my right rib. Um, it was not constant. It kind of came and went. Um, sort of just a dull, burning, aching pain. And then occasionally I would also get like a sharp, um, like cramping pain. So I went to my doctor, my primary care physician, I told her what was going on. She said, well, you know, that sounds like your gallbladder. So she sent me for an ultrasound and the ultrasound results came back that I did indeed have gallstones and swelling and discomfort in that area. So she sent me to a surgeon, a general surgeon and um, that general surgeon wanted to run a bunch of tests and rule everything out before they took out my gallbladder. So I had a EKG on my heart done, um, a CT scan to check for kidney stones and that sort of thing, um, and I had a bunch of blood work done. And then I also had um, a little scope where they put me to sleep and they put a scope down my throat to look inside. Um, and just check to make sure I didn't have any ulcers or anything like that. So when all of those test results came back, um, I found out that I did have some gastritis, which um, is, you know, like an irritation of your stomach lining, can eventually turn to an ulcer. So my doctor put me on um, Prilosec once a day for that. Um, I also have a little teeny tiny kidney stone that is not obstructing anything and was not the cause of my pain. Uh, the EKG came back normal. Everything came back um, pointing to the fact that what was causing my pain was my gallbladder. So my general surgeon said, we're going to take it out. So I scheduled my surgery for a couple of weeks later, uh, watched a few videos, did a little bit of research online, but I wasn't really all that nervous about it, which is very, very strange for me, typically. Um, I'm a nervous Nelly and everything makes me nervous, but I just kind of went into the surgery relaxed and ready and not concerned. It's a major surgery, but it's, you know, one of those surgeries that they do all the time. It's not super, um, you know, complicated. It's not a rare thing. You know, gallbladder surgery is pretty much like right up there with appendix surgery. It's pretty run-of-the-mill. They do it all the time. So I went in the day of my surgery, which was Friday. Today is the Monday after surgery, so it's been a few days. Um, I went in. I got checked into the surgical center. Um, I had my surgery done laparoscopically, um, so they did not have to open me all the way up, which was great. Um... And it went really, really well. So as soon as I got to the surgery center, I uh, gave a urine sample. They needed to make sure I was not pregnant, which I'm not. Um, and then they got me checked in. They put in an IV. Um, they gave me a couple of little pills to prevent nausea. And that was pretty much it. Um, they t when they went to take me in for surgery, um, it was pretty cut and dry. I don't remember being wheeled off to surgery. I remember kissing my husband my husband goodbye and the anesthesiologist saying, okay, I'm going to give you something to help you relax. And the next thing I knew, I woke up and I was out of surgery. So this is kind of the part where I'm sure that anyone watching that's about to have surgery wants to know what's up. So what happened? Um, I woke up feeling very tired and groggy and nauseous. Despite the pills that they gave me, I was feeling a little bit nauseous, um, and I had a significant amount of pain. Um, so they gave me some Benadryl, they said would help with the nausea and the pain, and they gave me some um, Norco um, pain medication. 
Um, and then they checked on me a few minutes later. I was still feeling pretty nauseous. So they actually gave me one of those little seasickness patches right here behind my ear um, and told me to wear that for a few days and that cut out all of the nausea. Um, that helped immensely. My biggest thing with taking pain medication is that it makes me sick and I told them right off the rip that I would rather be in pain than be throwing up. So um, they gave me the seasickness patch and luckily that cut out all the nausea so I was able to continue to take the pain medication um, without being sick. So I was in recovery I would say probably about an hour. It was very quick um, it may have been longer than that, but I was kind of in and out of sleep. Um, but we signed signed out. It was an outpatient procedure, and I was able to go home. So I got to the surgery center at um, 6.45 in the morning, and I believe we were back home by 11 o'clock. So it was very, very quick, very simple, very easy. I have four little incisions um, with the laparoscopic surgery. That's what they do. They do little teeny tiny incisions and they put their instruments in um, they fill your belly up with air so that they can kind of maneuver around in there and then they just pull the gallbladder out one of those little incisions so I have four little incisions one of them is on my belly button and that is the one that hurts the most the others are nothing really to speak of they were closed up with glue so I don't have any stitches um, pretty easy peasy guys the pain in terms of recovery has been not terrible. Um, the more that I am up moving around, obviously, the more that it hurts. But um, I've been doing a lot of reclining in my recliner, which is where I am sitting now. Lots of rest, um, just basically getting up to go back and forth to the bathroom to fill my water glass. You know, walking around a little bit so as not to um, be completely sedentary and you know, invite things like blood clots, but definitely not running any marathons. There's a lot of soreness in my stomach. Um, I am taking five milligrams, I think, um, of Norco every four hours, and that has been helping with the pain. It doesn't take all of the pain away, but it kind of takes the edge off. Um, I don't want to take anything stronger than that. I'm not a big fan of pain medication or medication in general, um, but I've been taking it every four hours as my doctor recommended, and that's really been helping out with the pain. So like I said, today is Monday, um, and the pain is kind of right about where it has been all along. The very first day after surgery, the pain was the worst, and then slowly over the next course of the next couple of days, it's gotten a little bit better. It's not gone completely. Um, but I imagine that in another day or two I'll be able to pretty much go back to business as usual around here. Um, I was told not to lift anything over 20 pounds for the next two weeks. I go back in to see my surgeon in two weeks and then hopefully she will give me the all clear to go back to life as usual. So, yeah, that was my gallbladder experience. It was very, um easy. I was very relaxed about the whole thing. I wasn't nervous. Like I said, that's very unusual for me. I still don't know um, why I wasn't nervous, but I wasn't. Um, everything went as expected. Um, there was no surprises. Everything was good. So I had a very easy surgery. Um, when I was looking into the procedure and reading people's stories and watching videos, I was getting a little bit... Um, perturbed because a lot of people were saying really terrible things. They were saying they were throwing up for three days after surgery or they were in immense amounts of pain or diarrhea. I haven't experienced any of that. So uh, I don't know if the people that have really good outcomes from their surgery just don't bother to post in like message boards and things. So all you are reading is horror stories or what it is, but it was fantastic for me. Um, I'm looking forward to a life without gallbladder pain, without throwing up. Um, I had one experience before surgery where I ate um, avocado and was sick for six hours straight. So I'm looking forward to being beyond that. Um, and yeah, just looking forward to completely healing up and getting back to life as usual. So that is it for my gallbladder surgery story. I hope you guys um, found it helpful. If you're about to go through surgery or if you have gone through surgery, I want to thank all of my subscribers who 
um, all said really wonderful things and wished me well and said prayers for me means the world to me. Thank you so much. I will be back with regularly scheduled videos um, in a few days, hopefully when I'm feeling 100% again. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and for all of your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye!